is Andrea here, and we are on the very next page of our artis artisan style uh, papers by Graphic 45. Um, you can pretty much get this at like Tuesday morning for $5.99. So look for this UPC number here. Do I have that upside down? Sorry. <laughs> so you want to take even this last number all the way to this last number to get the right product. There you go. All right. So that's what we're working with. So far, so good. We are on the very next page. So let's get started. This page is a flip and it is six and three quarters by five. Then this has a tag with a little pocket here. The tag is four and three quarters by four. That includes the punch there. Then this this one, this flip, is six and a quarter by seven. And that flips up. And then this right here is our main flip and is six and a quarter by five. Okay, let me tell you what this pocket is. It's one and a half inches by six inches. There you have that. Let's get to decorating. I have already cut up my paper, I have inked it up, and we are ready to go. We have lots to put on here. Let me just get the main one, two. We're looking for number four, which is right here. And I put a peacock on there. And it's one of the uh, bronze embellishments I get off of eBay. Uh, just type in bird embellishments and bronze, and this should come up for you. Remove our tape backing. Gotta get the glue out. We want this to be permanent. Now you can turn it over and place your paper. Just like that. In order to get this uh, glued on, all I did was use my quick dry tacky glue and just put it all on the back of this. And that's how I got it to stay on. So if you're wondering if this glue um, is good for metals, it is. Okay, let's turn our page. We are on the inside. And look for number five. Right there in my hand. This is why I really love my Xyron. <laughs> because sometimes it just takes a little while to get your tape off. Even though you didn't put that much on there. Oh well. Make sure that you're covering your magnet and not leaving any space from the magnet to the edge, wherever you're going to put your edge. So you could start by placing your paper there 
and making sure the magnet is completely covered by the paper. And then burnish around that magnet really good. Perfect. Now we're looking for number one, which is a smaller piece. This one here is this one here. Number one. That's why I have to write my numbers down. The best way to move it along is to make sure you got the right number for the right spot. magnet on this page as well so we have to do the same thing make sure we get that magnet covered properly perfect boy everything's going so good knock on wood All right, then we have our little piece. Let's see, is it this one? And this one? It's this one. Of course it's this one, it matches. There's our little pocket. All right, this flips up like so. This is number six. This one goes here, and then number two there. little bit of glue and you are good to go perfect and then we have number six No magnets on this one, so we can lay it down without having to worry about magnets. Perfect. All 
I love it. It turned out so cute. Let's go ahead and do our tag. Let's get some paper for our tag. We're going to go through our scraps first. I'm going to go with those two. It's very pretty. So let's get this measured up. I need to cut just a sliver off on this part. And then cut it right across here. And we're going to do the same here. lower and the upper. Now we can get our cutter out. And we can cut this down. All right. We cut this one down. And we have to cut the other one down. Uh oh, there goes my pokey tool. And this is the one that all I need to do is cut this little tiny piece. And that's it. Just a sliver. Now we ink it up and we'll tape it up. That looks good. I like the little shadow that, um, that that gets left behind. It makes it look like a faded, gradual fade. back, get our tape, and tape her up. Get my squishy so I can cut the tape. This is also known as a scraper. If you have like a Cricut, yours probably came with a green one or a green and white one. This pink one I got off of Amazon and um, it came with two scrapers and a bone folder. And it was like $5.80. And I gave one of the scrapers to my daughter because she needed one. And that's it. The tape I'm using is from eBay. And if you type in <coughs> double-sided tape and then do the drop-down box and 
and select low to high, you will find a bazillion sellers selling this tape. Low to high will get you the cheapest person who's selling the same exact tape as somebody else. It takes about 30 days to get it in the mail, but I think it's worth it. Get our tag. I do also sell to the same tape in my shop, so if you don't want to wait 30 days, you can purchase it from me as two two ninety nine for three rolls of tape. And your rolls will look like this. There, there. Voila. Nice such a pretty blue. It's that peacock blue. And the artisan style peacocks are throughout the whole paper pad. Okay, let's put that back on our page. And that goes right into here. And I love it. It's so vibrant, this paper pad. And you really, really vibrant. You just can't appreciate the colors unless it's in person. But it's really busy and and um, vibrant. Turn it that way. Close that up. And that is it, folks, for this page. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to check out our description box um, for things that have been mentioned in this video. And I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.